I'd love to anybody you talking to your guardian angels anybody getting responses back under are they asking putting out certain requests asking their names asking for a confirmation when they do um, so you know you can learn how to communicate and, and really put that into the practical that's real important that takes practice and it takes not just occasionally if you believe in angels and really want to work with them it's something that you have to continuously doing it's it's, it's creating space for them in your life on a daily basis your daily bread um, so that's real important if you have I love that, that way you defined it the, the daily bread ah, okay yes, that's mm -hmm. great um, so if, if I'm having a thought that's uncomfortable and you know those thoughts come up or situations um, immediately I'm, I'm thinking of my angels I, I try to go right to my angels and um, I can vision visualize and um, I can feel their presence wow. and they're also they're touchy so sometimes and they're mischievous and I love that about them because I'm I'm a kid at heart so um, I guess you know that's part of my personality so it, it's great to be able to interact with them and they do help you they do help me you know if I'm having trouble getting rid of something in my head and that's something I'm, I'm constantly working on is the clutter in my head because I know the only way to work through it is to release it and really release it and keep it out after I release it because it just sneaks back in there mm -hmm. so that's where guardian angels can help us um, and it's important to communicate with them verbally always speak out loud to them get to know their names and always thank them so I always like to say thank you you know mm -hmm. it's very important that we do that to show respect